Do you feel the blues? Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nitro Storm here and we're back with another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing versus once again with your host Killer Conestar. Let's get right into the feud. So in this battle guys, we've got two purple around car killers, Sunsuit Neliel and Fullbring Toshiro. Now, the way we're going to do this is, we're going to be doing, I'd say, three battles, I mean, three match, um, three rounds for each character with three different builds. Well, max SP, max attack, and then hybrid. So, the way that we're going to do this is, is that we're going to be making sure that they both have the same link build. So, for example, uh, Toshiro has a 20% uh, sad soul trait and we've given him 2 recharge and a 14% right so in total that is um, 38 recharge uh, yep 38 recharge and 20 nad 20 sad and then we, if we look at swimsuit Nell, she starts off with 14% recharge soul trait so in return we've given her 2 12s and a 20 strong attack so again, the same links. So when it comes to their, you know, uh, their normal effects from their innate six star upgrades, we're not going to worry about that because that's what they get on their own. The character links is what we're going to make the same. So we're going to be first starting off with our boy Toshiro with the max SP build with this build. And we're going to be doing the same run with this exact same build for swimsuit now as you can see there Toshiro had really nice stats and really good the way we're going to be fighting the Yoroichi raid is that we're not going to use the special to clear rooms all right guys so we're at the Yoroichi raid now just one more quick recap to what Toshiro is like so 30 SP 30 SP 30 SP then 14 recharge 12 recharge 12 recharge 20 sad there you go, very nice stats. We're not going to be looking at the link slots, nope, it's going to be completely fair. No boosts, no friends. Let's go. So for the boss room, I think we're going to be using the special twice just to make sure that the boss is dead. I'm pretty like both of them will be killing the boss in two specials anyway, so that's good. So we're going to be going in. We're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be talking about uh, you know the uh, the normal attacks and stuff. You know that's that's for you guys to. Cause I'm pretty sure you guys already know how they're like. I'm just I'm just playing them and like comparing who is more efficient in general. So for for, for moving Toshiro, I'm not really used to his gameplay yet. However, you know it's pretty good as you can see. As you can see there, you know he does pretty good damage. And then just do this real quick, and then strong attack just to kill him off. And then we use our. Second strong attack to group them up. First strong attack to do that. Clean up with the Nad string. You know, pretty good stuff so far. Toshiro goes in. Then, you know, third strong attack, just do that. And then, you know what? We'll, we'll go in like so. And then we will use the uh, second strong attack. And then, you know what? Clean up with that again. So far, you know, I'd say he's going pretty well. Not gonna lie guys, his third strong attack might be his downfall. Oh, there we go. I kinda messed up there, so when we do the final scores, we're gonna be accounting for the mistakes. So just, just to make it more fair, you know. So we're going in, and then freeze, and then freeze. There you go. So that's Toshiro's run for you guys. This is Toshiro's run number one. Alright, so if you look at the time, it's 1 minute and 25 seconds. Pretty good. Now, let's move on to Swimsuit Neliel's first match. Alright, guys, we're now at Neliel's first run with the same max SP build. 
and the same character links. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So again guys, if you are still unsure on what this video is going to be about, it's about comparing them to see who would be more effective in general when it comes to mobs. Not the boss necessarily. So we go in with Nell's first strong attack. I think we have second strong attack there. And then do some Nad strings. Do some of that there. Clean up with the Nad string. Keep going as usual. I think we'll use a second strong attack here. Pretty nice stuff. Third strong attack there. And then clean up here. Oh. This one's kinda slow on this part. Feels bad guys. Nope. There you go. Do some of that. Again, clean up with the NAD. So, so far, this, they seem kind of similar so far. Because, you know, they all have this. They pretty much have the same stuff here. Okay, first strong attack there. And there you go. And then do the second strong attack. Pretty cool stuff, guys. See, as you can tell, there. The strong attack set are pretty similar. I don't know if that lag affected the timing, I hope not. But we'll find out. But as you can see there, you can clearly tell that Swimsuit Nelly's second strong attack has a much better range when it comes to pulling the enemies close. Oh, let's get that real quick. And then damage and damage. Alright. So I think both of their mistakes kinda cancel out. So let's check out Nell's time. So as you can see there, Nell was 10 seconds faster. Now you guys might be saying, oh Nitro, but like, like it, it might seem like I'm trying to be biased. Just, you know, give me some, you know, like watch through the whole video first by comparing the builds. And then I'll give you guys my own insight when it comes to playing these two characters. So you guys have a good idea on who I believe it's my opinion by the way guys on who's better anyways guys let's move on to the second build max attack all right guys it's your host Cone back at it again with round two the max attack build now again we have to compensate for the differences in links therefore we have to give full break Toshiro a 14 star trait whilst giving Swimsuit Nell a 20 sad soul trait. But we replaced two of the other links with 25% NAD. As you can tell guys, it's legit max attack, 30 attack, 30 attack, 30 attack. So pretty nifty stuff. And just to be, you know, just to be just to show you guys that it's gonna be fair, we've given her two NADs as well with 20% strong attack damage to compensate for not having that same soul trait. Now let's move on to the Yoruichi raid yet again and then I think we'll do a bonus uh, fourth round while giving them their most efficient build by doing the inheritance and the Yoruichi raid with their most efficient build in my opinion. In any case guys let's get round two out of the way. Alright let's go in guys so we're going to be prioritizing our nad string now real quick. So using our strong attacks, you know, just, just to get rid of any any weird stuff going on, just to make sure that we're doing really well. You know, I'll let you guys look at the numbers, you know, that, that's what the most important stuff here. Alright, there we go. Just making sure. There you go. Just you know, I might be repeating what I'm saying, but I need to concentrate just to just to give uh, your boys the best as much of a good time as possible. As you can see there. Alright, well, while we while they get get killed there, we move on to there. As you can see, pretty tactical stuff. Alright. Alright. Ow, ow, that hurt guys. So as you can see there, you know, Toshiro's um freeze chance is pretty decent when it comes to you know Nad. Because it freezes them. And you can, you know, just wail at them. There you go. And there we go. Just introduce ourselves with that strong attack there. Alright. I'd say that was pretty good. So I think at this point, I don't know what to do here because 
they have, because Sochiro has a freeze, right? So he's gonna have an easier time to do this. All right, and then do some of that. Okay, so so when it comes to doing the boss room, I believe, I think, we're gonna be using Toshiro to freeze, and then Nell to finish it off. In any case, let's move on to Nell's round two. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I forgot to say Toshiro's time. Uh, if, he, if you didn't see, the time was the same, oddly enough, as the last run with max SP, one minute, 25 seconds. So now we've transferred to Swimsuit Nellyel's round 2 with max attack and the same character links overall. And without further ado guys, let's get right into it, no friends, no boosts. Alright so guys, we're going in, like usual, with our nad. There we go. And do some of these, and some of that. Oh, my bad, I didn't mean to do that bit. As you can see guys, the damage is still pretty good when it comes to the strong attacks, so don't underestimate it, as you can see there. So if you do some of this, and then clean it up, like so, and then like so, and then go in here, and there you go, first strong attack, very nice, very smooth. Let me go in here, oh, I flopped that one, but oh well. There we go, do some of that. One, two, three, four. So when it if you, if you didn't notice that when the new wave came during my last hit, a few of the enemies got hit in the process as well. So keep that in mind as well if you want to think about speed running. Alright, do some of these. And also, to be safe, since I'm also using Toshiro's um, special, I gave Toshiro a chappy. So that the so that it, it doesn't you know affect the damage in the end. All right, there we go. And then just keep kill your Uchi. and there we go. So this second round might be slightly messy, so take the times with a grain of salt. But I believe that it's still pretty decent times. Oh, would you look at that, guys? So it seems right that the times for Swimsuit Nell and for Bring Toshiro are pretty much the same. Now, I know that it's pretty debatable with how I played them, but you know, come on guys, look at this. It's pretty, it's pretty good, man. It's close enough. In any case, let's move on to round three. All right, guys, so we're moving on to round three. We're now doing hybrid build, and for this time, we're going to be going with a 80 attack, 50 spiritual pressure build, as you can see there. 80 attack, 50 spiritual pressure. And then for the character links, we've given him uh, Rukia for the 14 that Nell has, and then Frenzy Bjork, Frenzy Renji. So these are the two links that changed in this round. So when it's Nell's turn, she'll be getting these from Toshiro, and same for the accessories. So, so far, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if you like this kind of format. And then, you know, if you guys like it, I'll keep, I'll do another one. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I'm going to be making, giving them a chance soon. I've got a lot of people planned, so don't worry about that. In any case, no friends, no boosts. As always, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So, we're going to go in like usual with our first strong attack. And then, you know, second strong attack these guys. And then we'll clean up. There we go, first strong attack again, very nice, very smooth, and then go in like that, Sec third strong attack, and then nad these guys, and then same for this one, oh, there we go, look at that, that's what I'm talking about, going in with Toshiro, second strong attack, ooh, spicy, you know what, there we go, look at that. So it's looking so far, you know, hybrid build's pretty nice. You know, the normal attack and the strong attacks, you know, they have pretty constant damage. Just what we like in a, in a hybrid build, constant damage. There we go, the strong attack just to clear them out. Oh, sorry about that guys, I think we'll have to think about the timing when we come to Toshiro, because of that mistake. And they go in, second strong attack. 
Look at that, he's frozen. No chance at all. And need some of these. Very nice. Very, very nice. So in this one, we're gonna go in. We're gonna freeze. And then special again. Awesome. Very nice. Let's check out the time for Toshiro. Alright, let's see. We got 1 minute 14. Well, that is Toshiro's fastest time so far. And it's 1 second faster than Sumsu Neliel's max SP build. So there you have it, guys. 1 minute 14. Let's see how Nel does against Full Brain Toshiro. Alright guys, so we're now moving on to Tsumsuit and LEL's round 3, the hybrid build. As you can tell, just to, be, just to show that it's fair, 30 attack, 30 attack, 30 SP. So 80 attack, 50 SP build. Tsumsuit, I mean not Tsumsuit. Frenzy Byakuya, Frenzy Renji, and strong attack 20% that she doesn't have, but Full Brain Toshiro does. Again, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, let's go in. So with our first strong attack, of course. And then use our second strong attack just to group them up like that. And then first strong attack this. And then finish off the Nad maybe? Alright. Well, yeah, again, that's pretty much a failure when it comes to Nell's part. That's my bad. And use some of that. While he gets attacked, I'll, I'll go in for the kill. And you know, you know that was kind of messy, but what can I what can you do guys? I ain't perfect, man. Well, but in any case, you know. I think we're I think we're saving time from what we're doing right now. So don't worry. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice that one. Oh well guys, what can we do? And then do that. And then do a second strong attack here. Oh. Well. Okay guys, I know you guys are thinking now. Um like I failed Nell so hard that uh, Toshiro is faster now, but oh well, you know, I guess you can take that with a grain of salt. The, the, what do you call it? The efficiency of using these characters also has an effect on the gameplay. So you gotta consider that as well. Oh, I, I didn't even kill her. But, hey, this, it's gonna be a slower time, guys, but I don't know, man, we'll, we'll see. And her time is... Well, what do you know? 1 minute 14. Exactly the same. So, well, there you have the guys. That's all three rounds. And what it came to was full SP in at which they had, you know, at which Swim Suit Nell was 10 seconds faster. So now, guys... We're gonna be moving on to the bonus round where the swim, uh, Swimsuit Nell and Full Brain Toshiro are gonna be having a race on the inheritance with the build that I think is most suited for them. And we'll see who is faster. Alright, guys. Before we start the race, I would just like to show off their builds before it starts. So for Swimsuit Neliel, we have 30 Spiritual Pressure, 30 SP, 30 SP, of course. We're going full SP on Nell. I believe this is her best bet. Then for Character Links, we've given Recharge, Recharge, and then Frenzy Byakuya. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking advantage of her, um, what do you call it, her Recharge Soul Trait. And that's why we're giving her a max SP build. Alright guys, so again, before we start the match, we have to show Toshiro's build before the race. As you can see, we've given him the hybrid build with 30 attack, 30 attack, 30 SP. So 50 attack, or 80 attack, 50 spiritual pressure. And then with the given links, uh, Full Bring Rukia, Frenzy Renzi, and Frenzy Byakuya. Well, now that you know the builds, let's get right into the race. Alright guys, it's time for the race. We've got Nell on one side and we've got Toshiro on the other side. As you can see, they're both getting ready for the fight. They're both ready to go. They've got their gear ready. Now it's time to see which one of them would be faster. Now, they've both, they both tried their best, guys. 
and whatever happens is what happens you know maybe uh, at another try one of them might be faster than the other but we're gonna find out who's the winner for this race and they're off as you can see guys Mel and Twister are starting strong Mel kinda made the mistake right at the beginning but don't worry he might be able to catch up so as you can see, you know, Tosho is kind of pulling ahead right now, very efficient with his strong attacks and his NAD, da the NAD damage is pretty decent as well. None of them are getting hit yet, so it's pretty good and efficient. Look at that third strong attack usage, very nice, very efficient so far. Nails doing the normal attacks and strong attacks, oh that vortex is really good. Ooh, that's gotta hurt guys, I see the action replay for that hit. Damn, that's gotta hurt, it's okay though, they might be able to do this. As you can see guys, Toshiro's pulling ahead just by a little bit. As you can see there, Toshiro beating the same mobs that Nell's been fighting still. But then again, Nell is not that far behind. It's still a very, very close race. As you can see there, they're using the normal attack and the strong attacks to the, to the, to the fullest. As you can see, the Toshiro you know, using their Vortex, same for Nell. They're using the normal moon attacks to clean up. And look at Toshiro with that third strong attack, man, that is so satisfying, you know. Very, very nice with that action replay right there. But at the same time, just as just well, we saw that he got hit. Damn, that's gotta hurt Toshiro. That might be wasting just a little bit of time. So maybe this will help Nell catch up by a little bit. But then again, guys, you can see Toshiro is still pulling ahead. Now, as you can see, they're using his Vortex. Nell doing her Vortex. He did his third strong attack. Nell did her strong attack. As you can see, the gameplay is kind of similar in a way, even though they have different builds. But then again, that freeze is very very effective sometimes when they get frozen and he can hit them without knocking them down. Damn guys look at that third strong attack, very very nice as you can see there, well, that was very satisfying. Then Nell also doing her third strong attack, so that was pretty good. Oh my god guys, do you see that Nell vortex? You need to see that again, because that was so good. Oh my god guys, I can't take a break here, they're already moving on to the next room. Toshiro still up ahead by a little bit, you know, using his vortex to, to kill the enemies. But I can't believe it guys, I think Nell just caught up to Toshiro. This might be a very very close race, as you, because as you can see, Nell actually has taken the lead right now. And she might be able to take this all the way. And Toshiro kind of struggling a little bit there, ooh, as you can see that he got hit. I cannot believe that, I think that put a nail. I think that might have put the nail in the coffin, because they're already moving on to the boss room while Toshiro is behind. I don't know guys, I can't believe this. Nell has actually pulled through and is now at the boss room and Toshiro, I don't know what's going on, he's still struggling back there. And I think Nell's gonna take us all the way now. She might be taking all the way. And oh my god, is she actually gonna do this right now? Toshiro just got reached the boss room and nope, seems like Nell has done it guys. And there you have it guys, there's our winner, it's Nell. And our loser is unfortunately Toshiro. But fear not guys, even though Toshiro lost, his time is not that much different compared to Nell. But I can't believe it guys, Nell actually pulled through from the race, you can see there. She started kinda slow, but then she actually pulled through in the end. As you can see guys, Toshiro's time was 2 minutes 48 seconds. And Nell's time was 2 minutes 35 seconds, so it's only about, it's only 13 second difference, it's not that far off. So I guess in conclusion guys, they're both really really strong characters. You know, there's not much difference in terms of how they're used, like playability wise and so on. But, it does show that Nell is more effective at least for this run. In any case guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about this format. I really worked hard on doing this part of the video, the race especially. And, you know, let me know if there's any tips you would like to give me and so on. Uh, if I were to do more kinds of these videos, it might take a little longer. From, because, you know, I have to edit and so on. But if you guys enjoy it, I'll do some more just like this. In any, ca in any case, guys, it's been your boy Nitrostorm. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.